Hi you guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Amora Love and I'm going to be showing you guys how I curl my hair with this curling iron. Now, I believe I got this at CVS or Walgreens or a drugstore basically and I absolutely love it. Excuse my cat, I'm talking all of a sudden. You guys know this in my videos, she'll just start meowing now because I'm talking. I, I have no clue, but that is my cat. <laughs> but anyway, I'm going to be showing you guys a tutorial on how I curl my hair. And I'm going to be using this curling iron. I'll leave all the details in the description below in case you can't get to a drugstore that has this. I'll find it online for you and link it below. So, let's get started. So, I want to do this pretty fast. I don't want to like section my hair too much. So, y'all know me. I'm just going to... Well, actually, I'm not even going to do it this time. I'm not going to do it in half. What I'm going to do is just do temple to temple. And go all the way back like that. See, I have all of this up. And we're just going to clip this up now because we don't really need it. So, now we're going to do it in half. And then my curling iron is already hot. What I like to do... Hold on. What I like to do is turn my curling iron and even my flat iron. Hey! No. No, leave it. What's with cats and eating on trees? No. Stop it. No. Get down. Get down. She actually got down. Okay. <laughs> okay, so I like to, any hot tool that I'm about to style my hair with, um, I turn it on and I always set it on the lowest setting. And then as I'm doing this whole thing right here, then I'll just turn it up to the highest setting. I just feel like it gives it its extra oomph and then, you know, get the most maximum power I don't know why it makes sense in my brain but one time I had like a broken ass flat iron and it wasn't coming back and then I did that little trick that I just said and then it just works so I keep doing it just as a like go to now so anyways I'm taking a vertical section in my hair like this and then we're going to detangle that starting from the ends and then I would use hairspray at this point but I'm not because I'm just not. You can use hairspray though to help your curls stick longer, especially if you, um, if your hair doesn't really like to curl. Like if you have like Asian hair. I mean, I've done a lot of Asian clients before and sometimes their hair just don't be wanting to <laughs> bend. Anyways, so yes, I'm starting at the roots and I'm feeding my hair through the curling iron like this. Eventually get fed all the way through. This curling iron doesn't have that much slip. I feel like if you don't have a curling iron and you are in the market for a curling iron, I would suggest the Blue Baby Bliss Pro curling irons. I have a jumbo one and it's absolutely incredible and I've had it for almost 10 years <laughs> and it's still incredible. Um, but this was just like a cheap little whoop de doo at the drugstore. So, I mean, it still does its job, it's just not. It's like smooth with the with the passes. So you see that? I could clip it up if I want it really, really curled, but what I'm going for is just that tousled, bouncy kind of hair, that blowout look. So I'm not gonna pin it. But if you want your curls to actually stay curled and like have curled hair, for one I may suggest a flat iron or do hairspray before and after and then pin it up, curl all your hair do your little thing, do your makeup and stuff, get ready and then take the pins out and that way your hair will still have like curls. But I'm not going to do that because I just want the blowout, sweepy, blowing in the wind look. So yes, eventually I'll um, do a tutorial like that for you guys. But right now, the way I want my hair styled is the way I want my hair styled. <laughs> If you guys want to make requests for certain hair tutorials, definitely let me know or look at all the tutorials that I already have and then um, make suggestions based off of that. Let's see if I already got those suggestions you're thinking of because I have wig videos, vlogs, you know, randomness, beauty, makeup, hair, all that good stuff. So look around and then suggest videos if you don't see anything but you want to see me do it. I have lots of videos coming up by the way. 
stay tuned, subscribe. So I'm just feeding the hair through. I'm just going to repeat that process on this side until I get to the front of my head and I'm basically just curling everything away from my face. I'm just drawing that and it looks gorgeous. You guys, if you want curl curls, then pin it, but I just want a blowout look, okay? So, I'll show you guys different curls in a different video. This is just for that blowout look. Sneaky curls. I feel like this is the fastest way to curl hair if you really want like every piece curled from root to tip. Because there are other faster ways to curl your hair if you have really long hair. But this way that really gets everything. I feel like, yes, you know. So boom, that is one side of the lower half done. And I'm just going to repeat the same exact process on this side. Except I'm just going to go in a different direction. You don't want too much hair, you don't want your section to be too tall or too short because you want everything to fit inside of the curling iron. <laughs> like my back hairs is probably not fitting, but it's a blowout look, so it doesn't really matter right now. <laughs> but had I been going for other curls, then yes, I would need to go back and get those pieces. Or I'd just be using the flat iron to be quite honest. If I really want my curls to stay steady. Or a wand curler. A wand curler, you, your hair can stay steady with curls. But curling irons, I feel like you better just expect for your curls to dry. Because even when pitting them and setting them and spraying them, <laughs> they're going to be gone by the end of the day. If it's a curling iron. Or at least it's just going to be like a blowout, regardless of how much work you put into it. Unless your hair is just hella uneven and it holds curl really, really well. Or your hair is blow dried into the curl and then curled with the curl iron. <laughs> then I feel like it may last. But yeah, just for my personal hairstyle and experience. For those of you who don't know, I am a licensed cosmetologist. <laughs> I do have my license since 2012. So, in case you care, I don't know. So yep, just taking out their roots and moving it and pulling it, moving it and pulling it, and then I just make sure all of this, you know, it's just in a row, all smooth and not super crunched up. Because you don't want the hair that's passing under the plate to be smooth and then like crunched up kind of way. So I just kind of like guide the hair to make sure that everything is, for the most part, in line and straight and not all like weird and on top. Sorry if I sound, you know, <laughs> different or whatever, I don't know. It's 1 a.m., well it's 1.20 a.m. and I've just been chilling, doing laundry, editing. I did a video with my little sister, you guys. you never seen my little sister yet, but unless you follow me on like Instagram or Facebook or something, but yeah, she's 11 and she looks just like me. She might as well be my daughter. It's crazy. I'm like, what in the world? My dad got some strong genes. Cause I look just like my dad and she looked like him, but she also looked like her mom too. So that's where we kind of differ. <laughs> Y'all gonna see her. Um, I don't know which one I'm posting first, but it'll be up within the same week regardless. So if you're seeing this one, go watch the one with my little sister so you can see how much we look like. <laughs> She's not talking or anything. It's just like a voiceover video of me. older sister did her hair you'll have to wait and go see how she did it but I'm styling it after she did it does that make sense it makes sense you'll see why my sister did her hair but I styled her hair you'll see how it makes sense cheers <laughs> sound like she said cheers back so now we're on the top section do I have hairspray? Let me just... Ooh, I'm almost out. Oh my god, you guys need new hairspray. Mm. Smells good. I love the smell of hairspray. So boom, we're going to take this down in half too. Okay, so we just going to... Y'all see this? Take this piece like that. 
it's a little thick, so we're gonna take some from there and make sure you always detangle your sections. At the base of the section, going away from the face, meaning the lip is always on the outside. Y'all see that? If I'm doing it away on this side, the lip is always on the outside. Curl away. Okay? Because if you curl towards your face and the lip is like this, you're going to end up with a harsh, harsh, harsh crease. We don't want no creases. So boom. You can kind of feel how you should be turning it based on how the outside feels because you don't want your hair to be sitting too long in the same spot, especially under the lip because that's the hottest part. So keep it moving. Then feed everything out of the lip until like all the hair is just wrapped around. You know, like it's just, then nothing's under the lip anymore. Then I can just slide it out without even moving the clamp. That's what I mean by holding it only if everything's out of the lip because it's, just, it's too hot. We already flat ironed our hair, now we're curling it. You know what I'm saying? Like that's just too much heat. So moving on to the next section, working our way forward, but curling backward. Another vertical section. I just feel like these are so much faster. Half and half, half and half. So I'm just repeating the process. I have planned video content that I'm gonna be producing for you guys. And it's pages on pages on pages on pages on pages of content that I have prepared for you guys. I actually have everything I need to make all of this content. So if you're not subscribed now, you will end up subscribing later. So just do us all a favor and subscribe now. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm finna come out of nowhere. You're gonna be like, what in the world? Yes. Because I got everything I need now. <laughs> Pop it. If you ain't ready, you better get ready. Cause I ain't stopping. You know what I'm saying? Okay, so boom. That's out. I'm just gonna hold it and let it stay there for a little bit. And then just... See how long of a vertical section that would be? I'm just gonna like take this whole, like this triangle piece and curl it backwards. And keep in mind, anything at the end that I may need to recurl, I will definitely do that. But after my hairstyle is set in stone and I walk away and this curling iron is off, ain't no more heat being applied to my hair until it's time to wash it. Period. This is already two steps and normally I just flat iron it and curl it within one little thing. I mean, I did flat iron my hair earlier today, so technically, if I was curling my hair with a flat iron, it still would be the same thing. But you don't want to keep heat styling your hair over and over and over within one wash, you know? Especially if you have curly hair and it's damaged, which nine times out of ten. I'm a hairstylist, that's why I can say that. Y'all hair be damaged as well. <laughs> that's all I'm gonna say. <laughs> follow the rules, follow the directions, the instructions that your hairstylist gives you. And if your hairstylist is breaking your hair off, choose another stylist. Okay? Every single client of mine, their hair is long as hell now. If it's not long as hell, it's definitely longer than when it was when I first started doing their hair. So, you can still do the heat and the color and all that. You just have to make sure that you take care of your hair because if you touch this part for two seconds, you know how much that burn. <laughs> that burn for like a split second. And look at this, we just holding it there. So like, you know, you don't want to do too much. Look, this was a split second. I don't know if y'all can see that. That was like, not, it was like a split of a split second. And like, this, like what? And we're over here fucking pressing on <laughs> our strands into oblivion just to go the way we want them to go. So that's what I mean by don't be keep heat styling your hair within one wash. You just need to wait, wash it, wear the style, figure out another way to make it cute. The curls is dropping. You can wear a ponytail. I don't know, you can figure it out. Don't just keep reheating and styling your hair. And stick with a consistent shampoo and condition and deep conditioning schedule and a trim schedule. I know a lot of y'all be slacking on the trims because y'all want to hold on to breakage, but you know what happens when you hold on to breakage. 
more breakage. <laughs> it doesn't get better. It, it doesn't stay better. You just end up having to cut off more. <laughs> You're just making it more worse. Just cut it off. And your hair will flourish, you know? So, that's all I gotta say. I hope I didn't offend anyone. <laughs> Somebody got offended in my, my last video because apparently I took too long to get to the point. And although I hear what she's saying, I get it. You know, I'm able to see both sides. I get what she's saying. <laughs> but like, I just wanted to show the full process of what it takes when I do trim my hair, you know? You know? Like, just the full process, like how I gotta blow dry, straighten it, you know, all that stuff. So I showed that, I guess, but she just was like ready to see like a trim, which is fine. But just the way that she wrote her comment, <laughs> it wasn't like nice. <laughs> and I know I can't always expect nice comments, but it made me feel some type of way. And it made her feel some type of way, clearly, because she responded with a novel. <laughs> We're just fine. So yeah, I don't know where I was going with that point, but yes, I'm just curling my <laughs> People be funny. I'm gonna try to get to the point faster. I, I understand what she's saying at the end of the day. Like I totally get it. It was just maybe the delivery. I don't know. I get what she's saying. It was a, it was very valid, very valid. But in her second response, that's when I was like, okay, <laughs> this a novel and you drag it in like, girl. But at the end of the day, I still get what she's saying. <laughs> Like, damn, it's a trim video titled Trim at Home. And the trim, trim part starts at nine. So. <laughs> but <laughs> the process, I don't know. She said I was, never mind, let me shut up about it. Okay, so boom, this whole section is done. And then move on to the next section. So you guys know what's crazy. I do not sleep with a hair scarf anymore. You wanna know how long it's been since I slept with a hair scarf? <laughs> Years. I think I stopped wrapping my hair in like 2015, like five years. Probably longer than that now because for, since 2014 I haven't worn a scarf. That's crazy. Basically, I just make sure I sleep on that type of material. <laughs> Like my sheets and my pillowcases are just either silk or satin. And I get it on Amazon, like it's nothing special or expensive. It's, you know, you ain't even gotta do too much unless you really want to. Like, it's still the same, you know, material. It's just depending on what type of quality you want. Okay, so now we're done. Uh, that's gotta be spray and maybe touch up a few pieces. Like this piece back here. Touching up this back piece, careful not to burn your neck or your hairline because these curling irons can be real tricky if you don't know what you're doing. Just like think about each movement in each place your hand needs to be and what needs to happen. Like just think about it. Don't move too fast and burn yourself. Okay, so now we're going to go in with the hairspray. Spray is basically empty, so I gotta get some more. Ooh, don't breathe it in. Oh my god, my mind. <laughs> okay, so before I do the whoops, sorry. Before I do the styling with my fingers, I want to just like show you guys what it looks like without doing anything to it. And this is the side. I gotta show y'all the back. Curls, you don't have to like 
comb and do heck of much unless you really just want the blowout swoop de doop at the ends then you could go ahead and go ham but because i know it's gonna fall and because i'm about to go to sleep because it's almost 2 a.m um i'm just gonna like you know minimally do it it's gonna like stretch it out and, and put everything like in place you know versus like breaking my fingers through it i just like to like sit everything in place and then the hair will just fall and do its own thing and you really just don't have to do that much to it and it's just so cute and it's gonna fall really cute like a tousled like <laughs> y'all know what i'm talking about like when people hear it just be like like a blowout you know what I mean like here like like this you see like it's like <laughs> anyways thank you guys so much for watching if you like what you saw and you like me you like my personality you like my hair and you like the tutorials that I do then go ahead and subscribe leave your video suggestions down below let me know any questions any suggestions and anything you want to say let me know in the comments down below and I'll see you guys in my next video